Research shows that many students are bored in class. A Gallup poll of 3,000 students in the U.S. found that only 32% of 11th graders said that they felt engaged in schools. Yet these same students don't have any issue solving complex problems like those in an escape room. How can we take this concept and bring it into the classroom while still making sure that learning and reflection is happening? I'm Dr. E.T. and this is Ed on EdTech. Spring Q Conference. Here we are. Hey, we're here at the CUE conference here in Palm Springs, California. I'm really excited to have an opportunity to interview Adam Fellow. He is the CEO and co-founder of Breakout EDU. Tells the story of he went to an escape room up in Canada and saw these kids that were solving problems that were super hard and yet kids in our classrooms don't really want to solve problems and here they were paying money in a strip mall to go play an escape room game. So, you know, the idea started with, well, how do you capture that energy? One is we created them so we had a little bit more creative control in terms of the types of inputs. Mm -hmm. So we have shapes and numbers and colors and, you know, they allow us to easily go through and have kids kind of enter the combination and then they pull it off. So this is a, a, what's called a HASP and okay. this device is actually something that James, when he was a kid, he was working in a, in a mill and mm -hmm. this is usually used in places where they have heavy machines mm -hmm. and these are keyed locks uh, traditionally. Each of the mill workers takes a keyed lock so you can't come back on your own and unlock all the technology, all the, all the tools. So yeah, so we have like a card over here and it's like okay. what advice would you give to another group of players that are playing a game? Um, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like this, like did you take any risks during the game? Mm -hmm. Why or why not? And yeah. again, like it just, this really focuses on what the what the learning was about versus yep. like the, the idea of breaking in as the ultimate goal. For all of us as, as former classroom teachers, like that's the goal is to make this, yes, it's super fun, yes, it's engaging, but at the end of the day, we want to make it both, all of those things, but also something that's educationally valid for these kids. Solving puzzles and unlocking the prize is a great hook to capture student interest. What really impressed me was how the reward was linked to deeper reflection in the form of discussion cards inside the boxes. A further discussion on the taught materials and the process of playing the game helps with critical thinking of the curriculum and ideas on how to improve collaboration in the future. It's not just students who are bored in class. Teachers also feel a lot of burnout when they teach the same materials and don't have opportunities for creativity. I wanted to learn more about how mystery and curiosity impacts a teacher's interest in teaching, so I was honored to learn from tech integration specialist and Make Learning Magical author, Tisha Richmond. You know, at the beginning of my book, I talk about how there was this time where I was dreaming of becoming a barista. I was like, you know okay. what, I'm just tired, and yeah. making lattes sounds like a really <laughs> great career feeling of, of being burned out and tired. And I share my story of how that joy and passion was renewed for me and how I really became an educator that was passionate again. And so I think that part resonates with a lot of people that, you know what, it's never too late to bring joy and passion into what you do. I think, for one, I think that when we are joyful educators and we get excited about what we're doing, that it's contagious and students yeah. catch on to that joy and that passion. Mm. And, you know, I do, I talk about a lot of stories in my book about how students have been able to tap into their own passions, their creativity, and how they become not only immersed learners, but they become empowered learners. Mm. And they, they own it. That's and cool. it's been really fun. And, and when they get excited about learning, then I get more excited <laughs> about teaching and it just becomes this. Yeah. So Make Learning Magical is about transforming, teaching, and creating unforgettable experiences in the classroom. So magical is actually an acronym. So oh, okay. M is meaningful beginnings. A is authenticity and agency. G is gamified experiences. I is for innovation. C is for creativity, curiosity, and collaboration. A is for authentic audience, and L is for legacy. Mysteries, puzzles, and curiosity learning has always been a great way to get both students and teachers passionate about the curriculum. Students remember the assignments better if they treat them like a time-sensitive mission or a crime scene investigation or a muckraker's piece of investigative journalism because of the curiosity involved in solving a mystery. Making an escape room with technology can be as simple as creating a Google form. Tisha showed how using validation in a Google form allowed her to quickly make an escape room example. 
Some of the teachers I work with in our global content department have created Muckrakers investigative journalism activities for the whole class. Check them out for free on snow.live. I'll also leave a link to some of those lessons below. So what tips do you have for making fun mystery activities using technology? Please leave a comment below, and if you're looking for more technology tips for education, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.